Um, I'm Carson Brown. I'm the guitar player for Conan. I'm Peyton Brown. I play bass. I'm Noah Tennyson, and I sing. And I'm Coben, and I play the timpani drums. And we, and we are Kona! <laughs> we are Kona. <laughs> What's up everybody? We're Kona. A uh, little band from Little Town, about two hours away from here. Uh, we'll play some songs for you from our upcoming EP, hopefully coming out the, this winter. This first one's called Swim. I think you asked me if I wanted to play a couple shows with you that summer. That's what it was. And then we played a couple shows, and then we started jamming at his house. And we probably, I had like no gear. Like probably like a few pedals and a small amp. He had like a small amp. We didn't have a bunch of stuff yet, so we were just kind of playing with what we had. And then that kind of sprung into us wanting to start a band. And then one day we were thinking, who could drum for us? And we thought Coben, because we were a jazz band in high school with Coben. I immediately said I would. There was no if, ands, or buts about it. I was very excited. And then we, we didn't have a bass player, right? So we called this boy up to the big leagues. He didn't even ever play bass in his life. We just put a bass in his hand and said, hey, play it for us. Yeah, I played guitar. He played guitar. So it was easy for him to pick up the bass and be like, okay, I can kind of play. Yeah, and he was just there chilling. So we, we got him to play bass. Got a couple shows that summer. And then st this past winter, which would have been the winter after, we got a lot more shows, and that's kind of when we started playing a lot more shows. Now. So, okay. 
I definitely say coin for the first one. And then probably Tame and Paul is like old stuff. Like Apocalypse Stream, like that whole Lonerism album. Uh, for me, it was definitely uh, Coldplay's Parachutes. Oh that God. album. That was my like my oh. first breakup was that album. It was back in like seventh or eighth grade. I loved it. Ago. Sparks cool. is the best song ever on oh, that okay. album. Yeah, it's always <laughs> a tearjerker. <laughs> best hey, uh, i agree with no on that one but i'm usually not very specific i just hear a vibration that reminds me of another one and then i go back in my head actually the carter four <laughs> shout out tunchi that's a great album <laughs> spent like maybe two nights in total in our group chat saying like just random names I really wish we it's fine it's okay but it's stuck, but i have a lot of cool names in my pocket now man. <laughs> yeah. hey we haven't released anything officially so we always could uh, but yes we have we branded ourselves as that so now we, we have star wars <laughs> well we have the options uh do we have any more I have one of my head. I know you're that. I was wondering. Uh, one of them. Sky Trap. Fi-Sci. No, that, that was not a band. No. <laughs> that's, a, that's a heavy inside joke from when we recorded our uh, our album. But <laughs> our producer, Drew. Uh, but no, we have maybe like three or four names we're going to pick. I just decided to go with a four-letter four letter acronym because we just want to be trendy. So it's just a mixture of my name and Carson's name, the first two letters. I'll flip it around. That's about it.
I guess for me, uh, since I do like a lot of the songwriting and lyric writing for us, um, it's more of like a creative uh, like outlet for me, just like to get what's in my head out. Honestly, I have nothing better to do, and I like playing. <laughs> <laughs> I like, same thing as Scope pretty much. Well, for me, I gotta I gotta have fun and make cool melodies on the guitar and kind of just create stuff that way. I write some lyrics with Noah sometimes, but he's mainly the one writing the songs. But when it comes to like melodies it's really fun for me to like sit it around works. and create create some stuff from that it's cool Process. Noah's creative process is he he finds a band he likes and then he studies them and then he just writes a song in their style and then that's created our style. Hippocampus is his favorite band and I'm not saying we sound like Hippocampus because we really don't at this point. In the early days, we sound like Hippocampus. Basically, yeah. So now we, we've kind of branched off and made it our own thing. But I'm just giving you know, a hard time. 
No, it just it doesn't like this. Usually, usually it starts out with outright some kind of melody or something on like a chord progression on acoustic guitar, and then I'll like transcribe that into Logic and then make the beat and kind of go from there. And like lyrics are all usually like the last thing I ever do, but it's more focused on very like guitar driven melodies, a lot like Hippocampus. But yeah, starting on acoustic guitar because I I believe that any good like indie pop song or like alternative song. If it could be played acoustically, then it's a good song. So that's like that's where I go from. I 100% believe in like Destiny and Fate because I feel like, um, especially since like where this band started, it was like I was very depressed and like not knowing what I wanted to do, and obviously having like music as a backbone for my like outlet and feelings. I just thought that if I could create something and then make other people enjoy what I create, then it just would make everyone's lives better. What? That's yeah, right. It was quite a process. But I think it's just everything happens for a reason, and we wouldn't be here without that reason. I don't. Yeah, sure. I believe. Yeah, sure. Do you guys believe in destiny, or do you personally believe in destiny? <laughs> yeah. How does it feel? Yeah. Yeah. Does it feel? Yeah. We're interviewing you now. <laughs>
coming out, we're coming.